Ministers, Excellencies, Laureates, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to welcome you to the award ceremony of the Stockholm Junior Water Prize. More than 60 students from 30 different countries. And first of all, I would like to congratulate you all because you are already winners in your respective countries. And a special and warm welcome to Your Royal Highness Crown Princess Victoria, who is the patron of the prize and will present the diplomas and the award to the finalists later on. My message to the young finalists, to the scientists of the future, be true to yourselves, be brave in your convictions, and seek the impossible. Because we need your passion, your vision, and your expertise. By working together, your collective minds, your innovation, and your passion can change the course of the world. Robert F. Kennedy said, some people see things as they are and say, why? I dream things that never were and say, why not? These few words summarize how all of you, the Stockholm Junior Water Prize finalists, have been thinking and acting during the time leading up to the national competitions. There you have showed exceptional knowledge and creativity when creating your project. The Diploma of Excellence go to the team from China! <laughs> now, in this very envelope, I have the winner of the 2010 Stockholm Junior Water Prize. The Stockholm Junior Water Prize will go to the team from Canada! I'd like also to congratulate you all. You are fantastic water ambassadors. Uh, I hope that your knowledge, that you spread your knowledge, and even more so, spread your interest. That you spread your interest for water, for environment, and for doing better for our world. To have that rub off on your surroundings because we need you. We need you as good water ambassadors, as environmental ambassadors. We mo need more like you. So I'd like to thank you all for what you're doing in each of every country. And I do hope that you inspire so many more.